Hey, what's going on? Jeff Becker here, founder of In Control SEL and Can Do You. So here's the thing. High schoolers and middle schoolers, and I mean, arguably any age of kid, they're hard to deal with. It's just, it's the nature of the animal. When, when people are young, they, they're defiant, they don't have the same kind of common sense, and that's what we know is that that's because of brain development, right? Like their, their brains just aren't developed all the way until they're sometimes 23, 24, 25, 26. Sometimes it feels like there's some adults that don't have a quite developed brain either, but that's not what we're here to talk about. All right, so uh, there are a couple things that I just wanted to share with you that are based on not just my experience of working with kids, but also research. There are a couple things that you just never want to say to a kid. And that's especially true in the middle school and high school years. So um, th the first one is this quote, and I've heard it a million times, you've probably heard it a million times, but it's, because I said so. Okay, so if you're a teacher and you're trying to get a bunch of kids to listen, I totally get how this could come out of your mouth because I have kids of my own right now uh, as I'm taping this video. My kids are seven years old and four years old and sometimes that's just like all I have the patience to say. Um, but, but here's what a student is hearing. A student is hearing that you don't really have a good reason. And so here's what we know about students, especially adolescent age students, anywhere between you know, 11 to 18 years old, is that students, in order to change their behavior patterns, uh, at those age ranges, they're really trying to pull apart uh, people's opinions, pull apart what people are saying to them to figure out what it is that they believe. So if there's an adult that's telling a student, uh, don't do X, Y, Z behavior, well, why not? because I said so, that's just a really low form reason, which your intent is to get them to stop doing it, to show them, hey, I know better than you just shut your mouth or do whatever it is I'm telling you to do. But what you're actually telling and communicating to that student is that, you know what, I don't really have a good reason, which then tells the student subconsciously or sometimes consciously that that behavior is really just fine and you just want them to stop because you want to make your life easier. So because I said so is really one of the lowest forms or one of the lowest methods of changing a student's behavior or changing their mind. If you really wanna change their mind or change their attitude or change their way of understanding, a lot of times it doesn't feel like it, but they're actually inviting you to tell them why. So that's the number one thing that I wanted to tell you just never say to a student, especially if you're expecting some kind of behavior change. Uh, the second one, that uh, I wanna say never, ever, ever say to a student unless you're looking for like some kind of horrible backlash from them or just to feel bad about yourself is this. Don't make me embarrass you. Oh my gosh, that's like the most archaic thing and the worst thing you can say to a kid, please don't say that. And so beyond me just being a parent and wanting my claws to come out and when I think about somebody saying that to my kid is that, think about the goal of that. The goal of that is actually to embarrass that child out of doing that behavior. Again, that's the lowest form of behavior change, but also, if you care about children, this is what that's doing to children, is that embarrassment, what that does is that creates really negative self-talk, it creates anxiety, it creates future embarrassment, uh, just a host of negative things that you're putting onto that kid and putting into their brain. And especially when you're talking about middle schools and high schoolers, their social life is their whole life. I know you like to pride yourself in being an educator and, and them really loving your class or, or whatever it is, but uh, they thrive on social status. And when you threaten to embarrass them, you're threatening their way of being. So not only could you be giving them really big anxiety or really big anger or triggering, the, triggering them into some kind of crazy behavior, but what you're also doing is you're hitting them so far below the belt that they have really no other option to really have a strong distaste for you as an adult in their life. And if you think that their behavior is gonna get better because of that, I have bad news. It probably isn't. It's probably going to go in the opposite direction. So again, the two things that I wanna warn you away from saying is, because I said so, and also, don't make me embarrass you. All right, I hope this video helps. If you really like this video, make sure that you share it with somebody that you care about. Like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that way you get videos every time they come out. 
All right, guys, we'll see you next time.